A New York City church fired a female pastor after a trip to a sex shop. Yep, this is Dr. Amy Butler. She was the first woman to lead her congregation, but in May, she took two assistant ministers to a sex shop in Minneapolis. She reportedly bought one of them a $200 bunny shaped sex toy. One What's of them, that called? One of them filed a complaint and the church didn't renew Amy's contract. But there's a whole other side to this story. There's actually many layers. Her supporters say that she was let go after speaking out about sexual harassment against one of the former councilmen uh, within that church. So they believe this is retribution. There's many layers to the story. Yeah, that's the reason why it's important to keep your side of the street clean. If you are ever in a situation, in a professional situation, and you're questioning whether this should be happening or not, just err on the side of caution because there's always someone who has a notepad or is recording you or is making sure that other people know what's happening so that they can keep all of these little receipts in order to get you in case you ever get them. So I would just be really careful and just err on the side of caution. I think that's great advice for everybody. Yeah. You know, I think we're all learning how to behave in the workplace and this is for as much as the optics are. I mean, she is their boss, of right? Course, yeah. Even though they claim she said, you do not have to come with me to the sex shop. I'm going to go. And then, but then they said, but she was my boss. I felt pressured to go. Right. So That's you understand that confused. dynamic too. That's where yeah. I get confused. So as Erica said, you just can't even. I know. Can't even and it's sad because I think about it sometimes almost too much. Should I go to this event? Should I do that? Do I trust this person? I would never think like that before ever. Just it's the era that we're living in and I'm a jokey guy you know what I mean like yeah. all my friends I just went away this weekend we crack jokes that would not be okay for like team and we, we're okay with it but if I said that around someone over here someone might get offended or feel some type of way and I could lose my job so I'm very protected well, of what I have is here good. Cautious but it's, is good. I almost feel like I'm not myself sometimes yeah. you know what I mean in like I social you. situations because you have to look out for and yourself one little caveat really quickly because I for some reason I dove right into this case but one little caveat is the person manning the register at the smitten kitten said that when she pulled out her credit card and there's witnesses that heard this she said church expense now we don't know this wow. is according to the new york times we don't know if that was a joke but according to the new york times they're going to look in to see if those sex toys were put on the old company car well, if it is it'll stand out to the accountant <laughs> yeah what's the smitten the kitten yeah that's yeah this one's on jc <laughs> <laughs>